Hey everybody and welcome back. My name is Tuki and this is Night in the Woods. So a little bit of an apology for no episode last night. Unfortunately, I'm a working man and uh, yeah, real life got in the way. Um, the weekend that passed was the first weekend in a while that I didn't just sit down and record like a whole week's worth of uh, episodes because I was sick. Um, so I only got like two or three episodes done. Um, but here we are, and uh, I'm recording for tonight, and uh, I'll have enough time to record probably for the rest of the week tomorrow. Um, so yeah, let us get down to play some uh, Night in the Woods. Bedtime? Yes. Oh, What about that light in the back? Doesn't that annoy you? Let's see, I wonder if we get weird dreams this time. Some more jazzy music. You guys like jazz? I think jazz is fine. Oh god, it's windy. It just feels windy. It's not actually windy, I guess. Anything up here? Can I jump? No, I can't. So, where was I supposed to go here? Down? No. Why'd they put lights here? It's a little misleading. This is like... If it wasn't for the buildings in the background, this really looks like we're on top of a train. Don't you think? Look at the background. Like, it looks like we're on a train. But then there's like these buildings and stuff, and then I'm like, no. Nah. Is there something? Oh, this is something. Up we go then, I guess. Something this way, or something this way? Run, May, run! Those don't really help. Hello, moon. There's somebody sitting up there. Did you guys see him? Say hello. Hi. Oh, I cannot interact with you. Enjoy your pipe, sir. Assuming you're a sir. Oh, here's the first one. Possum Springs, Deep Hollow County. I'm just like YOLOing in a direction now. See? More train things. Trees on top of this train. This has to go somewhere, right? Yeah. Hi. Hmm, violin. Nothing? Nothing. And I wish the train noises were, like, not as loud so I could listen to the music. I assume this game has a soundtrack that you can buy. Okay, so we have two. And this is where we started. I assume we have to go up again. I don't know what the significance of this is, if there is even is it is any. Do I have to run on the roofs? I think that's a yes. Another accordion! Haha, I remembered the word this time. 
Okay, where do you guys think the last one's hiding? Run, May, run. Okay, so we already went this way. Did we keep on going this way? Was there even an opportunity to? YOLO! Oh. This is just the end of the level then, I guess. It's a pretty nice tune so far. Extremely noisy though. I'm not, not sure if this is any indication to where they are. If they're if that one's like up top. Might be. Let's have another look. I've been playing Prey. You guys know Prey? The new one, not the old one. One thing that makes no sense about that game is why they called it Prey. Because the old Prey, you were like a native Indian dude. And uh you were like kidnapped by aliens and then the only way to beat the aliens was you coming into like touch with your ancestral roots and beating them aliens then this one you're like some scientific dude on the space station fighting weird black oil aliens you're not Indian in fact I think you're Either Oriental of some persuasion, either Korean, Chinese, Japanese. I might be a little lost, but it's fine, we'll find our way. Oh! Get on the train! Oh. Can you get on the train? I guess you can't. So, this way then. Yes, there there, there is. I wonder what horrible thing we'll be seeing this time. But yeah, Trey is fine. I like it a lot so far. I'm playing like a sneaky type. I don't fight stuff, I sneak around them. Yeah, that's not freaky at all. I'm starting to wonder if these dreams have any significance whatsoever. Because they just seem to be completely random. I guess we'll see. Good morning, sleepyhead. You're such a cute kitty. Wake up, man. Let's say hello to the gang. Yo. Away message. Annual harvest play tonight at the old pickaxe. Come out and see the haunted history of Possum Springs. Happy Halloween, dude. Get spooked or something. Hello. <laughs> yes, indeed. All right. Down we go. Let's say hello to the bird. Hello, bird. Hey, trash bird. Is that dad opening up? Freaking hope so. Oh, my God. Yes, it is. So what, what was in here? Is this the crawl space? Oh my god. Where does this go? Spooky. Those are some cans. Alright, what's this? Oh wait, ha ha ha. I know how to open this. Left 45, right 100, left 22, left 90, right 15. Thanks, Grandad. Ah uh ha, -huh, it's opening. That was in the book, right? What the hell? It's an old tooth? Yeah, that's a tooth. 
cannot put a tooth in a safe in the basement. Well, never know when you'll need an extra tooth. You and me tooth, we're gonna go far. I'll take it. Mysterious tooth. Thought, never drink again or go in public. Blah, blah, dumb shit. Everything feels bad. <laughs> I don't look at these for a while. Thought, become a fire ghost and yell at people. <laughs> Come back to life, granddad. Angus. Germ. What happened to the whole arm thing? There was another one. Bandit queens. Oh yeah, that was with the fishy thing. <laughs> All hail the fish god. There was this thing. Uh, Nook Possum Springs. Miracle rats. I freaking die tonight. Greg rules, okay. Freaking Greg. Sterling and Simone. Greg's happy. Greg's sad. Okay. <laughs> this was uh, when we were in the forest with Greg the other time. Alright, well... That's it, I guess. Uh, yay tooth. No idea if that'll be significant at all. Probably, maybe, who knows. Let's say hey to- oh wait, what? I've definitely grown quite a bit since then. A little bit taller. A regular bit wider. <laughs> Granted said I was sturdy. Well, you certainly look sturdy. Screw it, I am sturdy. Yes, absolutely. I mean, you were shocked twice and you almost died, but you didn't. Hey, here's the boxes. Hi, Mom. Kitty Mom. Hey, Mom. I wonder how breeding in this world works. Like, can a croc and a cat marry and have kids? Or is it like a speciest or racist thing? Mm-hmm. Um, what's wrong? Nothing's wrong. You're lying. So, honey, uh, do you feel like talking about school yet? Um, okay. So, what's the story? I just felt like it wasn't where I should be. Where you should be? What does that even mean? Ugh, never mind. Let's talk about this later. Any idea when you might want to do that? Because, honey, I am all ears. I really am dying to find out. When you decided to go up... To up and abandon all the plans we'd made as a family. Jeez, Mom. Where's this coming from? You know, you're the f first Borowski to go to college. Yeah, Mom, I know. I only heard that since I was like six. Well, honey, we'd been planning for it since you were born. Spent a good 18 years and got into all kinds of trouble. Just for you to decide it wasn't where you should be. This sounds like my mom. They're doing a good job at, at writing a mom. I like having one of your mood swings again. Wow. Ugh, like I'm the moody one in this house. You are the moody one in this house. I'll enjoy this house while we still have it. Wow. What? What's happening to the house? Maybe it just isn't where we should be. You know what? F off. That's incredibly rude. Don't say that to your mom. Mom, this isn't funny. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about anything. Why start now? Go off and do whatever it is you do. You know what? Maybe if I'd had more examples of, you know, getting out and making something of myself. No. No. You do not get to. Maybe you wanted me to get out of here because you never got around to doing it yourself. Maybe I'm just the most recent failure in the line of failures that is our family. That's dark. I'm leaving now. Yeah, I'm just gonna go. And just like that, it all comes spilling out. All the family stress and drama. But seriously, though. I mean, I, I can't say that I understand her position. Because I wouldn't buckle under such pressure. Like, they kind of expected her to keep it up. And as, as her mom said... They've been planning for this for a while, right? And, uh... 
and then for you to just like decide against that yeah it's your life and everything but why give up on something that's been going or being planned for for so long just because you want to rebel what does that help anybody and now I'm here jumping on mailboxes and fence posts and running on electrical wires and getting cut with Greg in the woods, you know. So, is my life better? I don't know. It's hard to say. Oh, decorations. Yeah, I see them now, everywhere. Oh, there's a kitty cat. Kitty cat pumpkin. Girl, you can't mess around on Halloween. Jeez. Want to hear a new poem? Yeah, sure. Bats and moon against the gloom. The night is black, I made a snack. Cool. I microwaved, pizza I'd saved. The pizza cold is breakfast gold. That is so true. It really happened. Big Halloween fan here. Yeah, me too, obviously. You going to harvest? Nah, staying here for the trick-or-treaters. You are a saint. Arfus is dumb. Really? I love it. I mean, you are eight years old? No, I'm not. Eh. And that's it. Is this all you do? Sit on the porch. Don't touch my pumpkin. Touch his pumpkin. Touch his pumpkin. Running uphill, running uphill. Boom, boop, 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 boom, boom. Let's go down downstairs and see what's going on down here. If the place is still like demolished. Should I feed my pets again? I bet some rat babies would love a delicious pretzel. So this is like a daily thing now. Interesting. Oh, hey, hey. I moved. Accidentally. I timed it. No feeding the babies then. No, maybe I should feed the babies. I don't want to miss anything. Ugh, probably not going to get another chance today. Okay, fine. I spoiled it. Okay, so this still looks like trash. Oh. Where's everybody? What? Oh my god, we used to do that. Awesome. Well, you go easy on my street. Deal. That's like a Kenny joke. Kenny from South Park. No one could understand what he says, but everybody else does. Yeah, about them there sports. Am I right? Yeah. You going to harvest? No, I'm going to watch the game. Of course. I don't freaking care. No, never. Ugh, I hate sports. I'm sorry, but I just hate sports. Is there any point going past this place yet? Oh. So how did that arm get there? Uh, someone just running down the street. Whoops, my arm fell off. I'll just come back for that later. No one could survive their arm just falling off or being chopped off. Like, not by a doctor. Is it still cold assault if you chop an arm off? Uh, seems like it would be called a different world. Arm choppy. <laughs> uh, you are under arrest for arm choppy. Whoever's arm is probably dead. Nah, definitely. Unless I see someone walking around who until recently had an arm. Anything else to do over here? Oh, we can actually go over here now. The heart of hometown since 1972. Hey, Jerp. Hey, man. Hey, I'm Scams. Scams? That's Jenna. Hi. Hi. I'm Build On. And I'm Germ. 
I may. I completely forgot what I was going to say. Hey, Jeremy, you coming to our fest? Eh, maybe. Are you guys going? Yeah, we might hop over. Check out the party. I mean, y'all got ghosts here for real, right? Yeah. What? Little Joe, you know? Yeah, man, local legend. My man, Tapeworm. Out in Bright Harbor? He told me he never got off in this town because of the ghost. Oh, that's a load of crap. He snakes into the rail yards and snatches up the good and the pure. Well, you kids got nothing to fear then. <laughs> Damn it, old timer. We're pure as the air. <laughs> All right, well, I guess I'll see some of you there. Nice to meet you. Same, little lady. See ya, Jerm. See ya. Can I still say something? Oh. Okay. Yes, of course. Uh, I assume there's nothing past that. All right. Cool bunch of... Uh, don't know why Jerm's hanging out with, like... Hobos, I guess. Is there something? No. Yes, I'm a cat and I just ran past the cat. Amazing. Let's go say hey, hi to this trash factory. Yo. Hey, man. How's things? Good. Harvest rush. No one's in here. You missed it. The horror. Oh. Uh, I don't got hard. Getting hard at work is at work is the worst. What? Gary? Getting hard at work is the worst. When is this place busy? Morning is bad. Lunch is kind of bad. After I leave is bad. Christine, the owner, comes in then. I don't think I've ever seen Christine. I try to be out the door before she's clocked in. <laughs> nice. Anyway, you're here now and I'm here now. And it's a lovely day. And I was worried I'd have to smash these light bulbs. All by myself. So what's up? Nothing. Uh, I'm very interested in the last... Nah, I'm just gonna say nothing. Because I'm pretending to be upset about mom. Later. Oh. Nice. Thanks, Greg. Always so... Absolutely concerned over poor old May. Let's go check out Bia. Who some people... Uh, I won't say names, but... Uh, some people have tried to push over on me that uh, Bia is actually called B. Even though anywhere in the world it's called Beatrice. Bia. Beatrice. I went to Google and I, I searched like the pronunciation and then like 40 vi videos because it's a French thing and the name is French Beatrice Beatrice anyway you hype for Harvest? um Harvest is pretty dumb right I'm gonna watch a bunch of old Dracula movies from the 60s that actually sounds really cool it is I'm gonna get a pizza too all to myself wow you have a life way more figured out than I did at your age really what were you doing then Hanging out in really embarrassing places online. <laughs> this is like me. Yeah, sure. I won't say which sites. See ya. Later. Oh, there was more? Yeah, just pictures. Okay. Is this the old pickaxe? So I can't see her? Oh, everything is so great and harvesty. Which is basically just a less spooky Halloween? Whatever. I just want to head home and get ready for tonight. I could just do that. Or I could wander a bit. Take in the harvesty air. Well, I'll get home when I do. That statue has been defaced. Hello, Aunt Malkop. Malkops don't carry guns, man. Jeez. I guess you need that gun for... What are you doing? Blocking off the road. Oh yeah, wouldn't want to do that without a gun. <laughs> you know how many times I've got sh I've shot someone? No, tell me now. Once. You kill him? No. So you're saying you don't really need it then? You should carry a battle axe. <laughs> that would be impressive. I'll look into it. 
That Ferris wheel looks like a nightmare. Thanks, Colleen, that's helpful. What's wrong with it? Don't, I don't trust giant load-bearing machines you can assemble and disassemble in one day. It's the hit record. We've always had the hit record at Harvest. Yeah, since 1984. That's a year before I was born. Maybe that's a clue that we should retire it. Shut up, Andrew. Okay, everyone, let's just take a step back here and cool down. We are going to have the hit record at Harvest tonight. Fine then, I'll send all lawsuits your way. Bring it, Colleen. Scramble sign, cloud, gun, cash, dollar. Yeah, alright, bye. Any reason to come up here? Sure, maybe mom's here. Maybe we can try and apologize. Maybe we can talk to the priest. Hello. I'm busy. Wow. All right, mom. Fine then. Sorry, mom. Jeez, mom. I like how mom got, gets here. She probably uses like uh, instant transmission like Goku. Probably not. Let's talk to the priest. We have some issues. Oh, we are all alone. Fine then, I guess we go home and get dressed. Did I just miss Bia or... Uh, that was uh, Bia's place, right? Now let's go over here. Maybe there's something interesting over the side. Oh, hi. Ooh. Breathe some fire already, dude. Oh. <laughs> yeah, not with that guy sitting there. Howdy. You waiting for someone? Well, I think I'm being stood up. Aw, a date? Not the kind you mean. Honestly, a big part of my job is someone calling, me heading out, and them not showing up. You are meeting them at the statue of Saint Rubello. Yeah, the fire breathing guy. For like eight people. That's a bit of an oversimplification. But yeah, basically. Cool guy to have a statue of. Outside the church, I mean. <laughs> well, I didn't put it here. But can't uh, we learn something from Saint Rubello? Breathe fire. Sure. The statue is part of our Encourage Criminal Acts outreach. It's working. Oh, wait, you're the priest, right? Priest lady. Okay. I didn't recognize her for a second. I'm just... Oh, hi. You gonna go down to Harpers tonight? Dunno. Maybe. Keep to myself. You should say hi if you're there. I'll be there. Okay. We'll say, I suppose. Alright, weird homeless dude. And then the edge of the world. Oh! Um, hi. Hello. Hey! Traveler from distant lands. You have journeyed far. And it has brought you here. To us. Actually, I walk like 15 minutes from my house. Walker, far from home. We will tell of your future, but first be truthful. Tell us, which of these have you seen? A shipwreck? A ghost on a hill? An arrow loosed? Loosed? Really? I, um... You're like 14-year-old goths. Why am I answering this? I did see the shipwreck, and I did see the arrow. I mean, I shot a few of them. False. You have failed. We cannot help you. You may see us once more. But it is not certain. And then never again. Okay. Uh, have fun, kids. Fun is all we have. Do you, like, practice that talking in turn thing? You're not gonna narc on us to the pastor, right? <laughs> For being out here? Nah. 
Cool, thanks. Because I saw all three of those things. I saw the shipwreck, which is in the beginning of the game. I saw the I saw the arrow, and I think I also saw the ghost in the hill. Though I can't remember where. But yeah, I did see the shipwreck in the beginning of the game. We can't go back to that area. I don't even know where that area is. You can't probably reach it. It's behind a cutscene or something. And I did see the arrow loosed. I mean, I shot a few and then... Yeah, so I'm not sure what I was supposed to say there. Interesting. I don't think there's anything up here for now. Oh, let's check this. We haven't checked this in a while. Okay, I'm not sure if there was a purpose because it's still not changed. Uh -uh. Uh. Well, back home then, I guess. I assume that's where I'm gonna go. Didn't I see like a defaced statue somewhere? No idea, man. Yeah, I assume we should go up to our rooms to get ready. Nothing else to do. Okay. I assume the mirror is, yes, where we start. Anybody on the PC? Uh, nope. Arrow. Well, look at that. It's been 30 minutes already and we haven't even really done anything. Guys, I appreciate a comment. I appreciate a like. I'd appreciate it even more if you would tap that sub button. But most of all, guys, thanks for being here and supporting the series. I'll see all of you in the next episode.